I had to have an MRI and a, mes or a mammogram, and I hated it because I had to wait at least two weeks for the result for both of them. And then the screening was going to be every six months, so six months I had a mammogram, the six months later I had an um, MRI, and that. that's what my mom does now. Um, but I couldn't handle waiting for the results. What I think about most is the screening. I think that really there is this constant little voice in the back of my head saying, could very well get cancer one day so I think I still am in a state of worry at times not all the time but I've taken some steps and some measures to have some screening done so I've been for an MRI um, and I've done the breast exam so I think that doing that and knowing that that's available to me now every six months is a real sort of relief and I've definitely considered the prophylactic surgery as well, and that's an option that they speak to you about during the genetic counseling. And I'm really, that doesn't scare me too much. I think it's something that I would definitely consider because then I could potentially not have to go through what my mom and my aunt went through. Yeah, mammograms was just about the same. It was uncomfortable and each time, especially for me because I was, um, because I was young, most women that have mammograms are older than me. And they told me every time I went in there that it's really hard to, to, uh, to test women with young breasts. The breast tissue is denser and it's just hard. So I went in there with them telling me it was going to be difficult. I'm, I was also very small breasted, which makes it more painful, the actual test, because they really have to stretch you. And each time, oh, you need to come back in, we saw something. And so a week later, I'd have to do the whole thing over again. <laughs>